my original training actually is in molecular biology. And when I trained, which was in the 60s, early 70s, molecular biology was just really getting its start. Uh, had a series of professors uh, at Albert Einstein College of Medicine, where I went, where I was both an MD and a PhD, who were young immunologists who wanted to use molecular biology approaches to use uh, study the immune system. And I think it was the combination of using molecular biology approaches to understand very complex systems that really intrigued me. So when I finished my PhD, I actually decided at that point I wanted to go into immunology. Now having said that, immunology is a broad, broad field. And I think what interested me in going to lupus were some clinical experience, both when I was a medical student as a house officer, seeing patients with lupus, uh, recognizing the complexity of their illnesses, and thinking this is a, a, a problem I was very much interested in pursuing. For a very long time, I've been interested in the immune response to DNA. Uh, DNA is obviously a key molecule, it's the molecule of heredity, but in the context of lupus, it's a central, what we call autoantigen. That is a molecule that's targeted by the antibodies in lupus. And if you wanted to simplify lupus, this is a disease of immune complexes, and one of the most important immune complexes is a complex of DNA plus anti-DNA that form immune complexes. And those immune complexes do two things, one of which is they deposit in the kidneys to cause the kidney disease, and the other, which is an unexpected uh, finding, is it stimulates the immune cells themselves. So what my research focuses on specifically right now is where does that DNA come from? Well, this may seem an obvious question because DNA is inside the cells. To form immune complexes, DNA has to get outside the cell to enter the bloodstream to form the immune complexes that just deposit. The most important aspect of our work has been the establishment that DNA is an immunologically active molecule. When I started this study, which now goes back 32 years, uh, DNA was considered to be a unique molecule and that had immunologically no properties. It was blank as far as the immune system was concerned, and that distinguished it from protein and carbohydrates, where there's a lot of evidence they're immune activated. Um, and therefore, it was very hard to understand lupus. Although DNA was the central autoantigen, it seemed not to be able to do anything outside the context of lupus. And what our work established now quite a few years ago is that DNA is immunologically a very active molecule. And we originally did this uh, in the uh, studies to show that DNA from bacteria can stimulate the immune system. And that had never been seen before. And what we also showed is that ordinary people also have antibodies to DNA. At that time, everybody, the only place where antibodies to DNA thought to occur were in patients with lupus. Well, it turns out normal people have anti-DNA too. It's a different kind. And these are highly specific to DNA from bacteria. And so what that led us to the idea is that lupus, while it's an autoimmune disease, may originate from infection. So the first thing that I think that we did that, that I'm proud of, which was really quite novel, was to show that DNA from bacteria is in fact immunologically active. Then that got extended over time, was to show that DNA, ordinary mammalian DNA from the person is also immunologically active, but it needs help to show that immunological activity and it either binds to proteins that are in the blood or forms particles and in those forms in fact it's a very effective immune stimulant.